Acquit offers you multiple options to get paid and in this video I want to take you through some of the options that you have available. I am here under configuration and on this page you will see the main payment gateways listed. I am in the United States so this screen and the options you see may vary different from what you see in your own store but connecting any of these is quite simple you click connect with stripe for instance and it's going to take you to the stripe setup a stripe sign up screen where you can connect with equid now if you already have an account well you just click sign in and then simply click connect with my stripe account and you will see that stripe is connected and operational you will see also with stripe that i can use apple pay it will list whatever domains and instant size you have available you can turn those on and off if you want however you will need to verify the domain for each one you are using so in this case apple pay would only be accepted where my site is embedded in an actual domain or if i want i can disable apple pay altogether one of the big benefits of using stripe is that customers can allow their credit card details to be saved now this is not saved at the acquit it's completely stored at stripe and so customers can do that with confidence if you are going to enable more than one payment processor on your site, the name at checkout needs to be unique for each one. And in this case, I'm going to use credit card via Stripe. I can also add some instructions at checkout uh, with something like your payment will be proceeded by Stripe. We do not store your credit card information on our store. People like to know that, well, once all the options are set the way you want, you can click save and now stripe is ready to take payments on my store square is an other terrific option if you are using the square for instance this is absolutely the option you should use it easy to sign up and easy to configure many people really like paypal as well if i want to enable paypal it will pop up to the top where you can now edit the settings Acquit will use your Acquit email address initially but that can be changed here under the account settings. You can enable or disable PayPal, check out the card page, you can even show the PayPal credit button as well. Of course you can update the name of this payment option and once again you can set up the payment uh, instructions at checkout once you have done that in, uh, you have done that click save so let's take a look at our store and see our new payment gateways now when i have something in my shopping cart i am able to choose my payment processor whether i want to use stripe or paypal you will notice as soon as i clicked on that uh, the embedded credit card payment form went away and when i click pay with paypal i will be directed to paypal if a customer choose to pay with stripe it's right here inside of your store there are tons of different payment methods that may be available to you depending on the country you are in here in the united states we have got authorized.net american express payment gateway bank of america chase these will change according to your country if you don't see one in the list uh, you can use our equity payment api documentation to help you set up a custom payment gateway Equit customization team is another great resource to help you with the setup and finally just a reminder all transactions are proceed by third party payment providers who have their own rules and may charge extra fees be sure to check these details with your preferred payment processor uh, when setting up a payment method so no matter what kind of payment options you need to use Equit has you covered so that you can get pay for the products and services you provide. I hope you guys found this video helpful and I will catch you guys in the next video.